Hey guys, Michael here from Fat to Fit. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a stringer because it is a boiling day here in Melbourne. Uh, it's only spring, but we had today our second um, 30 degree day. Today was 35 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot, so it's been quite warm. It's finally just cooling down. But anyway, the purpose of today's video is, as you probably tell from the title, I wanted to talk to you guys about food cravings. Now, while dieting, food cravings is big, definitely one of the biggest uh, obstacles that you have to overcome. You have to resist uh, not binging out on foods that you would normally have or eating all the sweets or eating what your family is eating or anything like that. And there are certain things I use to help with that and that I have been using ever since I first started dieting. Well, some, some things are a bit newer, but in general the same principles and so I thought I'd do a video on it for you guys so let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys is about a recent find. It's um, Lipton iced tea. Normally I like iced tea but it's so full of sugar and that's one thing you have to be very careful of when you're dieting is liquid calories but in this, this is a 1.5 litre bottle. Guess how many calories are in the whole bottle? It's 99.9% sugar free and for this whole bottle there is only 12 calories I just think that is amazing this whole bottle and I did they're not too expensive they're only a couple dollars a bottle uh, from the local supermarket and I just think it is awesome I have almost one of these every day sometimes when you're hungry um, well when you think you're hungry your body is um, telling you that you're hungry and you feel hungry most of the time often you are just thirsty I know it's a bit weird like that so having um, a drink like some iced tea I like it cold I like all my drinks cold whether it be water or this so I have a few bottles in the fridge um, have a glass of that and normally I'm not hungry anymore so it's, it's funny like that if you think you're hungry just have something to drink preferably very low in calories like the iced tea or the water and you're normally good to go. Now along with this, a recent discovery in this bottle, see I, I just reused the bottles, I have like about three or four of these filled up at a time with cold water. Um, recently in the past few weeks my supermarket got these um, liquid flavour drops, uh, they have three flavours, I have two of them here, tropical, just let me focus, tropical, there we go, tropical berry, and they have a lemon flavor as well, which I haven't tried it because I don't really like lemon. Back in focus. But these are also amazing. I just, like I said, I just fill up three or four bottles of water, put it in the fridge because I like it cold, and each squirt, there's like 24 squirts in here or whatever, is eight kilojoules, so not even two calories, so probably around a calorie. Um, for a squirt of that and normally one for 1.5 liters of water I do about three squirts so I've got 1.5 liters of drink practically zero calories because it's just water and the flavor drops come on and so that really helped me as well I drink about three or four of those a day so I'm drinking five to six liters of water per day and it really keeps me full and keeps my mind off the cravings because if you have water sitting in your stomach it passes right through me I go to the toilet multiple too many times for have the bladder of a three-year-old child but it goes straight through but it keeps you full that's the main thing so water drink plenty of it or zero calorie drinks but try to stick to the water so another thing more for the lolly side, I have these sugar-free um, fruit lollies, and so they're just pretty much your standard. I'll, I'll open it for you guys. So they come in a, a bunch of different flavors, and see, they're just like little uh, hard candies. And so all of those for three of these, um, three of them is about 20 calories, and I let them dissolve in my mouth, or if I want to chew them a bit a bit for a bit of a crunch I do that as well but they normally help as well and I can normally I normally ha I don't have more than 10 per day of those but I norm and I keep track of them a lot because ca uh, calories are calories and you do need to track them but those are pretty good if you have a sweet tooth I have a big sweet tooth and even though they're sugar free they still pr taste pretty sweet so that's another thing I like to have now 
for all you guys out there, guys and girls, who struggle with chocolate. I have the biggest sweet tooth for chocolate. Dairy milk chocolate, milk chocolate is my absolute favorite thing and I could just eat it all day long. I love chocolate so much. You don't know how hard it's been not having a lot of chocolate on it. I used to eat a whole block to myself pretty much in just one sitting. That's how much I used to like chocolate. But recently, well not recently, since I started dieting, I developed a taste for dark chocolate, which if you don't know, dark chocolate is a lot healthier than your regular dairy milk chocolate. It's got uh, less sugar in it. Um, like, for example, the one I use is this Simply simply Less Dark Chocolate. For 25 grams, or well, 20 grams, which is one serving, um, there's only 85 calories, uh, less than 0.1 grams of sugar, and 4.5 grams of fat, and 0.8 grams of protein. So these are pretty good, especially because I used to struggle getting my fats in. Like, I even eat these when I'm bulking. I really developed a taste for dark chocolate. I think it's an acquired taste. Not everybody likes it. I used to hate it, but now I really like it and I quite enjoy it. So dark chocolate is another option for you guys if you are a chocoholic like I am. Hi, my name is Michael and I am a chocoholic. <laughs> but yeah, chocolate. And probably the last thing I use to help with my cravings, which is something I just started recently, which is gum. Sugar-free, extra, I like strawberry flavor. Uh, strawberry flavor. Let me focus this. There we go. Extra strawberry flavor. It's not that expensive gum. And it's sugar free. Uh, each piece of gum is about mm, three or four calories. So that's pretty good. I don't chew too much because I um, normally just have two or three pieces of that a day because I can just keep chewing it. And if I get bored of no flavor, I just add another stick of gum in. And chewing gum really helps with your hunger as well while you're cutting because what happens is when you're chewing, that just that action of chewing sends signals to your brain telling you that you're eating, telling you that you're getting full. Even though you're not swallowing anything, just the action of chewing um, sends the signals to your brain via hormones such as leptin. I won't get into the scientifics of it, but it just sends that they're called satiety signals to your brain. And so even though you're not eating, you're getting full, which I think is one of the best things about gum, especially sugar-free gum, because that means the calories are little but you're still getting those cravings kind of settled and you don't really feel hungry. So those are the main kind of things I use when I'm craving different foods or if I'm feeling hungry. I think mainly the main thing I take away from this video is drink plenty of fluids that are low or zero calorie to stem your cravings and your hunger because I think that's the best thing you can do. Especially things like the iced tea that's got very little calories or the flavoured water, all those kinds of things. Just find what works for you. Normally all these things you can find in your local supermarket. So just have a look around and see what you can find. So that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a like. Comment down below if you have anything you use to stem your cravings or your hunger. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, guys.